Okay, so I've been working on Mrs. Snowflake. I figured out what the problem is, and I'm actually fixing it right now. I didn't have um, the gearbox <clears throat> with the spinning knob. That whole, like, gearbox was just, it has holes on the side of it. And I just did not put those through. The, the, I did not put the pins through that. It was, so that's why it was doing that super weird dance which I'm trying to fix that right now. It's a pain for me to try to, I don't, there's gotta be an easier way of doing this, but I just cannot get <clears throat> those holes to line up for some reason. And I'm gonna try my best and I'll update you all when I get it. All right, guys, updated, just got it fixed. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna be, I know it looks like a monster right now. I've got it pinned up here because, so, so the fabric wouldn't keep looking in the way so you can't even see her head. Um, I'm gonna be trying to re-stitch her up and re-zip tie her. I also got that little piece back for the spinning arm that I was talking about in my last video, if you saw that. But thankfully, I got it fixed. It was a pain in the absolute butt to fix. And I'm gonna heat up the hot glue gun so I can glue these pins back in right here so they won't come out. And then screw a couple things back in and of course put the fabric back over it and I'll be done. Final product. <laughs> Sorry, the video stopped, but um, I even got the back back together. Um, this part's not looking that good um, up here, but I didn't really glue that back because it, this covers it up. And I glued down, I tried to glue it up nicely, but I'm gonna do some more work to it. I even got a new zip tie on there, so yeah. And like I said, I got a new piece for the plastic piece over the belt. If you're wondering what those are, they're banjo picks from a banjo. Because I play that. <clears throat> so, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm glad I got it restored. It was a pain in the butt. But, yep.